So this will be a quick unboxing of the Woodside guitar support. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm a classical guitarist. That's my main instrument. And uh, as a classical guitarist, uh, you're always looking for the best way to hold the instrument. Now in Segovia's day, uh, there was basically one way to hold an instrument and it was hard for people to argue with people like Segovia and people like that. Uh, nowadays, uh, guitarists have tried different positions. Uh, I haven't used the footstool myself in a few years. It's quite an uncomfortable position to have one leg elevated and this shoulder kind of comes over, hunched over a little bit. Uh, it's not the ideal way to hold an instrument. And nowadays we can say that without um, being criticized for saying it. So there's different ways to hold an instrument. Everybody has a different uh, type of body, different size, different height, different arm length. Uh, so you need to find uh, what works for you. And as long as none of the joints are bent in a weird, unusual way, and if the instrument is in the middle of your body, uh, then you should be fine. Uh, so you want your back to be straight, you want your shoulders to be in a normal position, you want your hands to move in a normal manner, you don't want anything to be bent in a weird, unusual way, because uh, if you're going to sit there and practice for a long time, uh, then something's going to hurt. So anyways, um, classical mm -hmm. guitarists have been looking for different ways to hold the instrument uh, for decades now. And I myself tried different ways and different guitar supports. And I'm very excited to try this guitar stand from Woodside. The, it's called the Woodside Guitar Support. And it's a brand new company for me. I have never, I've never dealt uh, with them before. And um, I have to say, uh, you know, for the benefit of being honest, I didn't pay for this stand. It was sent to me by the company. And I don't have a, a box cutter here, so I'm gonna have to try and open it up without a box cutter. Okay, there. Uh, this came straight from China, so it's, it's a little bit worn out, but it's very well packed inside. It's double bagged, so that's great. It got here very fast. I was speaking with a company just a few days back, and I assumed that from China, it would take a few weeks for the item to get here, and it literally took days. And it got in the mail today, and um, here's the inside packet. I'm not sure what to look for inside, because I did look at, at some pictures on the website, but I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, by the way, when I figure out where this, could, where this could be purchased, I will add that information at the bottom in the in the description of the video. If any of you want to try it out, I will make sure to add some links uh, to the website maybe, or some uh, retailers in the United States, uh, or wherever you are, that you can go and look for this. So let me just quickly open it up. I will not put this on a guitar in today's video. I won't do a demo of it, or a review of it. I'll do that in a different video. I just wanted to open it up and show you what's inside today and do nothing else. Uh, just a quick, hopefully a quick unboxing of the item. Here's the box, the outside box. It says Woodside Guitars, woodsideguitars.com. I would be very interested in trying one of their instruments, that's for sure. So maybe that is something we can work on um, in the next few months or so. That would be an amazing experience for me to try that. Um, so here's what you get inside the box. This is all very well packed. And I assume that if you order it online, this is what you get in the mail. I'll just take each piece out and just show you what it is and try to somehow assemble it. But I will not put this on a guitar today because why not? Well, because I want to really learn how to do it right and do the stand justice and not just, uh, I don't want to do it wrong on the camera, if you know what I mean. I want to first learn how to do it, how to use it, and then I'll make a detailed long video of that. 
So here's the booklet that you get inside, okay, with directions in five, six, four, five, six different languages, and lots of pictures to show you how. Um, the first piece that I see in here looks like this. And I'm assuming that this is the section that goes on the, on the leg, like this. And uh, it has some felt, some cloth on this side so that it wouldn't slide on your leg. Okay, and here is the here is the logo right there. It does have, unfortunately, I gotta say, it has a uh, indenture there, like a, almost a hole, and maybe something was pushing against it inside the box. Uh, not a big, I wouldn't worry about that too much, as long as it's not a hole. It's it's almost a hole, but I wouldn't be concerned with that. Um, so that's the bottom piece that goes on your leg, I assume. And I have to figure out which way to go. The next piece that I can take out is this. And I'm assuming that this is the piece that you cling your guitar onto, that you cling onto the guitar on the side. And this is adjustable, of course. And uh, it has a lever right here. And that's how you tighten it and loosen it. And uh, I'm assuming that this is adjustable both this way and also this way like as because if you have a um, an elevated uh, elevated fingerboard the top of your guitar that the, the upper bout is gonna be narrower so I, the, from the looks of it, it looks like this is adjustable that way so you can change the angle so that's great so we have those two pieces so far the bottom piece and this is the piece that goes on your guitar then we have this piece and again I'm not going to try to assemble it in this video and to attach it to an instrument because I want to learn how to do it properly first but I just wanted to take a minute to open it up and show you what I got and I'm assuming this goes here at the bottom yep and you screw that in there and oh this is really cool because it has it's kind of like a like a ball design. I don't know what to call that. Where you can you can change the angle. So if your guitar is tilted, you can tilt the guitar a little bit like that, and then tighten it according to whatever angle works for you. So that's a little bit crooked, which is great if you want it crooked. And then if you want it straight, you just open up the screw and you straighten up the thing, and now it's straight. Okay, so that's awesome. I like that a lot. And there's another piece in here. Let's see what this is. Um, I think this is maybe an adjuster to make it longer. That's what it looks like to me. That would be awesome because I'm a little bit taller, I guess. So if you want to extend this, if this is not long enough, my assumption is that this is some kind of an extension of it so you can make it even longer i'm hoping that's what that is i'll have to yeah so i think maybe you want to screw this and put that on there computer's dying here so i'm hoping that's what that is to make it longer by about an inch and a half which would be awesome and one more thing i see in here this is some kind of a wrench on the side of that box. Uh, and I assume the wrench is for the adjusters you have in here. And something inside this box, I don't know what this is. Okay, no idea. i try to be as fast as I can. Okay, I think this is even more extension. Or maybe this is the extension that I saw in other videos. Yeah, this looks like an extension to make it taller. So then I don't know what the other piece is. Yeah, so this is an extension. So you go here, 
I think. Whoa, when you make it taller. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, so if this is the extension, then I don't know what this is, what this is, so I'll have to figure it out. Uh, but it looks like this support will allow me to go much higher than I anticipated, which is awesome. So this is the Woodside guitar support. Comes with lots of adjustable pieces for you. This would go on your leg, this would go on the guitar itself, and it has some soft plastic covers on the, on the clamps there, and the lever to adjust the tightness and stuff. And a couple of pieces that look like extenders, okay? So I'll take a few days to install this on a couple of my classical guitars, and then when I'm familiar with it, I'll make another video to do a demo of it. And um, this is exciting. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to try it out. And I'm looking for something that's easy to use, uh, easy to store as you travel from place to place, and uh, just quick to install. And something, of course, that won't damage your instrument. So I'll be looking for all those things. All right. Well, thank you, Woodside, for sending this out. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it looks like a great support so far. I'll learn how to use it and then get back and provide a, um, a review or a demo video. Thank you for watching my video. If you have questions or comments, feel free to write them at the bottom. Uh, also, when I figure out ways that you can try this out, like places to buy it, maybe I'll add those in the, in the description of the video. So feel free to take a look in a couple of days. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you want. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for that. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.